What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, AC Coolin, aka Big AC, back again with yet another banger for y'all. Now, over the weekend, I went to a little sneaker convention, right? It was called Future Fest. Now, I wanted to get y'all some footage and I wanted to get all that good stuff going. But when I got there, realized I left my SD card at home. Now, I know, I know that's, that's a rookie mistake. I always gotta have an SD card with you, but it's, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? Next event I go to, I'm gonna make sure I got my SD card, backup batteries, all that good stuff. And I'm getting y'all plenty of footage, plenty of videos, plenty of heat, whatever it is that may be there, I'm getting it for y'all. But with that being said, at the event, I did pick up some heat, you know what I'm saying? I did a little trade for a pair that I've been wanting, a pair that came out maybe two months ago, two, three months ago, something like that. And you know, I, I missed that on, I missed on the rappers, I missed on all that, you know, sneakers, rappers, all that stuff. People who barely hit on them, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm one of the ones who barely hit, you know what I'm saying? But when I do hit, like, I still one of my past videos, when I do hit, I hit. But with all that being said, man, without further ado, that sneaker that I'm talking about is the Air Jordan 1 Low, Travis Scott in the olive colorway. Now you see the box, man. You see this this beautiful, glossy, just this this box. This box is definitely always top tier. When it comes to Travis Scott's, yeah, I might like a hype beast right now, but I, I love the packaging, man. I love like the pink paper they put in it, or like with the black phantoms, the black bandanas they put in it. But with this, you know, with this one, you got the nice glossy box with the Nike all over the upper and the olive that says, you know, Nike, of course, with the swoosh right there, the trademark swoosh. Nike right there with the swoosh, Nike right there with the swoosh, right there with the swoosh, and then once again right there with the swoosh. So as you see, it's the typical Jordan 1 box, just a different colorway, like a matte, I mean a glossy cream colorway that pick up fingerprints like crazy. And you know what I'm saying, with the olive Nike on the top of it, which is a, you know, a dope look, you know, you know something, something different. But the size tag does read, Women's Air Jordan 1 Low OGSP, colorway is Cell University Red Black, and the size is a woman's 12 which is equivalent to a man's 10 and a half. So I'm let y'all see that, get that little focus thing going right there. There it go, a little focus, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I see that. But enough about the box, man. Let's get into these sneakers, man. So me personally, I'm a fan of these joints, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. When I first seen them, I didn't really care for them. But then when I got them in hand, I got these joints in hand, I'm like, yeah, these, these one of them ones. As I tell y'all before, every sneaker gonna get that one of them ones passed, but this gets that one of them ones passed, man. Like, I, I'm a fan, like, yeah, it might sound like a hype beast statement to make, but I'm a fan of Travis Scott sneakers, you know what I'm saying? From the first original OG one highs to the OG lows to the, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much all the colorways. I, it's not one Travis Scott Jordan that I, sit, I can sit up here and generally say I did not like. Now there are Travis Scott's that came out that I didn't like, like those, uh, I don't know what those are. It, it got like the little, you know what I'm saying, the little flap on them, the little air mat, whatever, I don't know, but off topic, let's get into these though, I ain't worried about them. But right here, as you see, you got that beautiful the little olive swoosh on there, you know what I'm saying, with the black suede nubuck material in the background. Even the swoosh has a nice little material on it as well. You got the nice little, you know, white upper with a cell kind of, uh, I, I would consider it's white, but the only thing that's really sell is the midsole. So you get this white upper all over the whole entire sneaker, and you get the black, you know, on the toe box and as well on the tongue as well. But overall, it's not much of a major difference from like some of the other Travis Scott. You know, it's the same, pretty much the same color blocking, but just a different colorway. So it's the same kind of style, just just different colors. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not hating. I'm, I'm not mad. I'm, I'm I like it. You know. Most Travis guys, they keep it simple when it comes to like the detail. Well, not details, but like the colorway, the color blocking, whatever. They keep it simple, but they change like little small details here and there. But these, me personally, I'm I'm a big fan of these shoes, man. Like you know what I'm saying. You know, of course, you get the typical sick man face, even he's smiling on this one, on the back of the sneaker right there, and then on the other one, you get that. You know what I'm saying? That Air Jordan embroidered right there on the back. That you know what I'm saying? That nice look. 
Air Jordan right there in the back if y'all can get a good look at that joint right there. You know what I'm saying? Me, yeah, I, I like these, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna get a lot of wears out of these. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm not gonna wear them to the ground like certain shoes, but I'm gonna get a lot of wears out of these. So I, how could I forget, man, the outsole? This outsole, in my opinion, is beautiful. I love the color olive, man. Something about olive. You know, that's that orange and new black. You know, they say that, but me personally, olive is the new black. All that orange mess, y'all can go on with that. Olive is the new black, man. Olive is beautiful. This is a beautiful colorway, in my personal opinion. But it don't come with nothing too crazy. You know, they ain't got no dust bag, no, you know, crazy material. But it do come with extra laces. You know, they gotta have the laces. You got your olive laces, which I might be putting these in pretty soon. The black laces, which uh, are these black? Yeah, they black. Um, I'm not, I mean, they cool, but I don't gotta have them. And the red laces. And of course, you get the the sale colorway lenses inside the shoes already so that's that's a pretty little dope little touch and if you see me sweating man it's hot man texas heat texas heat ain't no joke man and you know what i'm saying even with the ac on it's it's hot i ain't gonna lie to y'all but another thing that's off topic i ain't worried about it but it is what it is but overall man once again beautiful sneakers man beautiful details and i almost got another important detail as well man the the insoles crazy crazy insoles man Hold on, let me get this uh shoe tree out these shoe trees they be in these young boy but these insoles man i'm gonna i like these bro. i ain't gonna lie to y'all i do like these insoles you got on this one you got the you know what i'm saying the typical sicko mode face the nike air right there the 23 and then the cactus jack logo right there as well i'm gonna get y'all a better look at these right here each one one by one y'all see that and then put this back in right here on the other sneaker, you got a little different. You know what I'm saying? They they they, they switched it up a little bit on the second one, man. They, they did a little switch up. You know, they, they hit it with the with the little switcher roof. But on this one, man, you know what I'm saying? You got the Air Jordan on the top, the 23 right here, Cactus Jack. Well, yeah, Cactus Jack all right in the middle. And the bottom got the jump man, of course, the typical, you know what I'm saying? That iconic jump man. Don't get me wrong, man. I love the hype stuff, but when you go to the OGs, that jump man, that's iconic, boy. That's what you call iconic. You know what I'm saying? But enough about all that, man. These sneakers, once again, one of them ones. Beautiful sneaker. One of my favorites of this year. Glad I finally got them. Did a little trade on the shoe that I got earlier that I didn't really care for. And I put a little cash up with it because I'm like, you know what? Yeah, those shoes was dope. But me personally, I find these uh, Travis Scott's to be more wearable than the shoes that I traded. And don't, don't be asking me, what you trade, what you trade? Listen, I traded something. I traded something, just know that, I traded something. But I don't think it's a bad trade, you know what I'm saying? Especially for something like this, this is a beautiful sneaker. Could wear on any occasion, whether it be streetwear, or whether it be what you call it, uh, like a business casual. You got an interview coming up, you put these on with some nice little slacks, you know what I'm saying? A nice little button down shirt. They're like, oh, he about business, you know what I'm saying? He about his business. Yeah, he about his business for sure. So. If you ain't got these right here, you know what I'm saying? The price is kind of fluctuating up and down, but I was able to get them for a good little deal with the trade, of course. But overall, man, I'm not I'm not upset with them. I'm, I'm, I'm loving the sneaker, I'm a fan of it. They will get some wears out of me. I will be putting these on soon. So if you follow me on IG, you know what I'm saying? You might see a couple fit picks, something like that coming up pretty soon. But other than that, man, I'm, a, I'm happy with the cop. I'm happy with the purchase. I'm happy with the trade, all that good stuff, man. And once again, like I said, I should have got some, some footage for y'all at Future Fest, but the whole SD card issue kind of, you know what I'm saying, kind of put a little pause on what I had going on. But it's cool, because the next one, I think we get ThriftCon coming up. At ThriftCon, I will be there. I will be in the building. I will be getting some good footage, because ThriftCon is something I've never been to before, something I've never seen. You know what I'm saying? Well, I've seen, like, in the past, like, I think a little Yachty or somebody was there at ThriftCon. Thrift so I was able to see that, but... I've never personally been to a, a thrift convention like that before, like a, like a kind of thrift, you know, whatever. I've, I've been at a sne sneaker cons and like different shoe conventions where people bring, you know, old vintage t-shirts and stuff like that and jackets, but I've never been to a full-blown thrift con. So I will be there, I think it's July 16th. So I will be in the building. If you're in the Houston area, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be at thrift con too. Hey, hit me up, shout me out, or you know what I'm saying? Come come talk to me, you know, chop it up with me. I'm. I'm not mean, I'm cool. I'm, I'm a cool dude, you know what I'm saying? So I'll be there, I'll be in the building recording, getting some good stuff out there for y'all. And as always, 
I appreciate y'all for watching my videos, man. Cause you know we getting these subscribers up, we getting these views up, we getting everything up. I'm now I kind of took a little hiatus for a little minute, like I always do, but this time because you know, of course, you know I recently moved, so I'm still getting adjusted to this new city. You know what I'm saying? Once again, I'm in Houston, Texas, so I'm getting adjusted to the new city. You know, being away from Memphis, going to Houston, so it's like a big jump. So yeah, my uh, what you call it uploads have been kind of infrequent, but hey, I'm back. I'm gonna I'm try to be as you know consistent as possible while, while I'm in this transition period. But trust me, when I when I finally get fully settled, I'm hitting the ground running. I'm gonna get y'all all kind of videos. I'm not gonna be out in these Houston streets interviewing people about shoes, sneakers, clothes, all that good stuff, man. So stay tuned on my channel. Make sure y'all smashing that subscribe button, smashing that like button, y'all sharing it, y'all telling a friend, to tell a friend, and make sure that friend tell another friend. You know what I'm saying? But with all that being said, man, I appreciate y'all for watching my videos, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace.